We're breaking down the techniques that La Berna Den, a three Michelin star restaurant uses to create an amazing uni pasta in a luxurious carbonara. The recipes are on my website, linked in the description. For La Berna Din's uni pasta, add four ounces of sushi grade sea urchin roe to a blender, blending until smooth. Pass through a fine mesh strainer, being sure to press out as much as possible. This stuff is expensive. Return this back to a clean blender and add an equal part softened butter, blending until emulsified. Add enough water just to cover the bottom of a pot, about a tablespoon, bringing this to a boil. Whisk in the uni butter a little bit at a time until fully emulsified. Using a sauce squisk really helped with this process, which I linked in the description, along with the other tools I used. Season the sauce to taste with salt and espalette pepper, which is a mildly hot chili pepper from the Basque region. Then set this to the side. Next, pick through a bunch of chives to remove any yellow or wilted pieces, selecting the thinnest chives. Remove the ends, then using the full length of the blade, slice through the chives. Although resting the knife on the board is easier, using the full length of the blade will help prevent bruising the herb. If a guy with carpal tunnel and both of his hands can do it, so can you. For the pasta, we're using dried linguine. One thing that I look for when buying quality pasta is bronze extruded, which gives the pasta more texture, making it better for absorbing and holding onto the sauce versus Teflon extruded pasta, which will be very smooth. These pastas will be more expensive, but well worth it, especially when using ingredients like uni and caviar. Bring a pot of salted water to a boil, then cook two ounces of linguine until al dente. While the pasta cooks, add about four grams of finely grated Parmesan to a medium sized bowl, along with the warm sauce and two grams of chives. Using a microplane will make it easier to incorporate the cheese into the sauce. Season to taste with salt and white pepper. White pepper is used so that you don't see little black specks in your sauce. Toss the pasta in the sauce until it is fully coated. Divide the pasta into four warmed bowls using large tweezers or a meat fork to twirl the pasta. Top the pasta with the remaining sauce, which you might have to add some warm pasta water to. Squeeze some fresh lemon on top, then place 12 grams or so of Ocetra caviar on top. I'm using Imperia caviar, which I've used in the past and really enjoyed the quality. If you're in the market for some caviar, they're offering 15% off the entire site. Link is in the description. The uni pasta has a slight sweet flavor from the uni and a very nice briny flavor from both the uni and caviar. This is a very good pasta and I would serve this to someone that really enjoys seafood. For La Bernadette's luxurious carbonara, start by cutting two ounces of bacon into large pieces and cook until crispy. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Bacon and a carbonara? I said this was luxurious. I never said it was authentic. If you want to greatly improve both the flavor and tenderness of your bacon, cook the bacon sous vide between 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 12 hours, which will make it very tender. Cool it down, then store in the fridge for a couple of days, which will intensify the smoky flavor. Now this bacon is confit and can be stored for a month, sealed, or a couple weeks once opened, if it'll even last that long. To use, scrape off all the remaining fat and gelatin and use like regular bacon. To the pan, add two grams of large cracked black pepper and toast for 30 seconds. Stir in eight ounces of creme fraiche, bringing this to a simmer. Off the heat, whisk in one egg yolk with two grams grated Parmigiano Reggiano and season the sauce with salt. Then strain into a clean pot and set aside. Cut four ounces of bacon into a fourth inch dice. Cook it on low heat to fully render the bacon. Separate the fat from the bacon by straining it over a bowl. For the pasta, we're using tagliolone, which is an egg and semolina pasta that is like campanelli and from the Piemont region. Add four ounces of dried tagliolone into a large pot of salted water at a boil, cooking until al dente, then drain. Add the bacon, chives, and black pepper to taste in a bowl with a warm sauce. Add eight ounces of grated Parmesan cheese, mixing everything well. Then add in the pasta. Toss to coat in the sauce, then let this sit for one minute, allowing the pasta to absorb the sauce. Using a meat fork or large tweezers like I am, twirl the pasta, placing the nest into four warmed bowls, being sure to create a little crater on top. 
Add a quail yolk to the crater, then top with 12 grams of acetra caviar. Although the carbonara is not authentic, it is really good. And that's coming from someone that really likes carbonara. We're having a pasta party at our house in a couple nights and I'm planning on making this pasta then. If you enjoyed this video, you should watch the French Laundry's $4 annulati next.